Also in this game you can customize your classes, which costs quite a lot, but you get a lot of money also when you play this game. Well, at least if you play good. Mm, and the only things you can actually spend money on is pro tags and your custom classes. And well, when you do your own class, it doesn't really change the class you're modifying that much. Mm, nah, I'm not gonna play as Dr. Eggman again. Man, he looks totally like a Eggman. Not really, you know, the Eggman from Sonic, but you know. He's an Eggman still! Hmm, let's class the assassin. What the fuck? Oh god, why am I playing as the assassin? I didn't even know. Why did I pick this class? Oh no! I don't even really know how to play this class. Wow, my English is sucking right now. Of course I know how to play as this class, but you know, I, I don't play as this class so well. Let's stab! Take that, Dr. Eggman! Whoa. Yeah, the assassin has a dagger, or which will later be a katana. And he has a shuriken launcher, which sounds totally gay. And it's not really that effective either. Excuse me if you think. Shuriken launchers sound awesome, but I don't think they sound awesome. Oh god, he's spotted me. Yeah, in this game, being a spy works out a little bit different. People can see you when you get close to them. And like in Team Fortress 2, when they only could see you when you, they actually, you know, touched you. Oh god, there's this enemy pie! Pie around here! Damn it, hold still while I do what I do. And stabity stab goes to another. goes the other assassin. Yeah, the shuriken launcher sucks. It doesn't do that much damage. Although, what did you expect? If it did, the assassin would be too overpowered! Stab! <laughs> and the assassin isn't uh, that good at anything except for killing people. But you know, that's what you're doing most of the time in this game. Ow. Well, that assassin totally wasted me. I probably should upgrade my skills. Cloak level 3, and uh, now it will regenerate whenever I'm standing still, even when I'm cloaked. Yeah, and also these ejectors are useful for killing enemy bots, because it instant kills them, except for jackpots. Big surprise. Come on, get over here, Mr. Eggman! Oh, that was Eggman! Aw, oh, support, you stole my kill, man! You stole my kill, man! Yeah, and the announcer guy, well, he usually likes to repeat the, all the stuff he says. Although, for some reason, it, uh, it doesn't get that annoying after a while. Really, it doesn't. Maybe I should change my class because we are doing quite well and we need people to destroy their turrets. And the assassin is not the class to do that. Because the assassin is not Pi. Yeah, and time to kill Bullseye. The Monday Night Combat mascot. Yeah, when you hit him, he'll give you money. Yeah, what does this game teach the kids? Shoot mascots and receive money. Millions and millions and millions of money. Yeah, 
Give me money. Yeah, you die. And you explode into money. Money, money everywhere. Damn it. No. Yeah, don't mess with supports if you're an assassin. Do not mess with supports. That is foolish. And also, you can taunt in this game. Yeah. But unlike in Team Fortress 2, there is actually some benefits in taunting. You get money. You get more money if you taunt after a kill. Otherwise, you'll just get like five bucks. And you will receive tons and tons of money if you taunt after a UGS killing spree. Give me your money, assault. Let's stab. Well, actually, I'm doing quite well. I'm surprised. Oh no. Damn you, support! Yeah, in case you haven't noticed, the support has a hurt option in his healing gun, as this game likes to call it. Which, you know, drains health from the target. Although, it doesn't drain that much health, but it does a decent amount of damage. And it's r really good in killing assassins. And stab goes the assault again. Shake it off. Yeah, shake it off. Shake it off. I don't think you're gonna be shaking off that anytime soon. Maybe this was a bad idea. Yep, bad idea. Get away! Oh yeah. Stab! Oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die! No, I'm not gonna die! Woo! That was close. Yeah, and also the support can lay down a... Uh, what was that called? A fire base, yeah, fire base. Which is a small sentry gun type of thing. It does quite a lot of damage, and it's... It's very useful if you're trying to... If you're trying to proceed in that other team's base, or you need to make a small command post type of thing in the enemy side of the map. Get over here! Oh. Well, maybe I should show off the other classes, well... Not Assault. Assault is like the most generic class ever. Let's play Sport. Yeah, this is a nice little touch that you can see where the enemy bots and turrets are when you're dead. And let's go for it. Then that. And let's go get some people. Come on, my little Italian friend. Do not mess with supports, silly assassin. You cannot get the support guy. He is like the pyro in Team Fortress 2. Spies do not mess with pyros, and in this game, assassins do not mess with supports. Oh shit. Yeah, that guy just used his juice power. I might as well put my firebase here. Well, I failed. And there goes my fireplace. I mean firebase, not fireplace. Damn it! Ow, that hurts, you know! Get behind me, doctor! Ow. I suppose you get a, a decent look at the support, because there isn't much to the support, except for the hack skill. You can hack turrets, which makes your turrets more effective, they do more damage, have more range, and shoot faster, or you can hack the enemy turrets, 
So they will become your own. Uh, damn it. Yeah, I. Uh, just to say I'm terrible at the sniper. Friggin' terrible. I almost never play as the snipers in games. In them video games. Get away, assassin. You cannot get us. We are the Sniper Brothers. Bound in blood. I think the sensitivity in this game when you're playing as a sniper is way too high. Yeah, I, I should have got that kill, but I didn't. <laughs> because I'm bad at sniping. As you can see, the sensitivity should be a little bit lower when you're sniping. I mean, like, the cursor goes... I mean, like, seriously, look at the sensitivity. This is medium sensitivity. Holy shit, just look at that. That is medium. I don't even want to think about how friggin' fast you will turn when you're friggin' Whoa! How fast you can turn when your sensitivity is on friggin' max. Friggin' hell. Like it wasn't hard already friggin' playing on this sensitivity. Hell. But I really love the characteristics on the sniper because he acts like a freaking competitive, you know, online player. Like almost everyone who's playing Modern Warfare 2. Because sometimes when you kill him, he'll be like, ah, I'm trying to win here! It's just awesome. <laughs> Get over here! I'm gonna hug you! Yeah, you take, you taste my Uzi. You taste it good. I haven't headshotted anyone, and I haven't killed anyone with my sniper either. Ah! Oh yeah! Holy shit, we got this round, that's for damn sure. Did he fall off the edge? Yeah, he fell off the edge. <laughs> Ow. Mm, well, let's just show off the assault real quick here. We got still one minute left. And we are dominating this map. Yeah, it's really basic. You got an assault rifle, you can slightly zoom on it, and you got the grenade launcher, which is kind of like the grenade launcher on the demo man in King Fortress 2. And then you got a bomb, which does massive damage, and uh, you got a jetpack, which is a lot better than on the other classes, like on the gunner and the tank. And you got a charge attack, which is useful on knocking people off of the map. So, well, yeah, that was my gameplay on Monday Night Combat, the most cheesiest name for a game ever. So, see you guys.